When the righteous increase, the people rejoice. But when a wicked person rules, people groan. And man, are they groaning now. Yeah. Wow, we ought to never believe that we're on Spotify, we're on Apple, we're on Google. Go out there and listen to us. So we're excited about it. We're glad you're excited about it too. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> Polls are showing it. I mean, just... <laughs> Well, what? you know, something, something Biden, new. catch a clue. Something, something came out this morning, uh, or maybe it was yesterday, about the economy. And, uh, well, uh, the GDP is up. And everyone's <laughs> like, oh, that's a great thing. The thing is, it's actually not, but because, because they're trying to squash spending. So economies, you know, like I'm actually doing well. Uh, I think some people I know are doing well. The problem is it's causing uh, in more inflation continually. So they're gonna be coming out very likely soon with more increases in interest rates. Well, anytime I'm paying $5.28 a gallon for gas, yeah, where a year ago, or my daughter is paying $3 in Tennessee, yeah, Californian, Comrade Newsom, Fix it, but that's a buy. I, I, pay, I paid five sixty, I believe it was this morning. I'm telling you, what a <laughs> hey, that right there. Of course, he wants to blame it on the oil companies gouging him. He goes, <laughs> all the taxes he puts on it. Anyway, welcome to Relevant Rants. Yeah. We're here today to talk about quite a few things. Hopefully, yeah. bring you a biblical view. Yeah, uh, on what's going on, but we're not going to do it in preachy way, as you know we do that, here. So. That verse was in Proverbs twenty nine two. If you want to check us out. Yep. So uh, we got a new speaker. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, I really like this guy, Mike Johnson. I, 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 so far, from what I know about him, I like him too. Uh, He's got I, a clean slate. So I do too. You know, it's really encouraging. And he came out of nowhere, Mike. I mean, he did. You know, everybody's everybody's scrambling. Well, to that look I him think up. that's why he got in. Why they elected him is because he came out of nowhere because he didn't have much. Tr- track record nobody has any dirt on him right yeah, so yeah well I, I like it because they're saying evangelical mike johnson oh and he is yes he is it's, it's so crazy because i like it when somebody of faith isn't afraid of letting their faith hang out mike you and i do that 511 media groups the name of the company and you were brilliant when 511? You did yeah. yeah and you're, you're brilliant when you came up that i mean we're basically highlighting what people all, other people are doing for the faith yeah. And, well, and, well, he came out and he said a couple things that really stood out to me. Uh, and this was part of his speech was uh, he's standing up against and, and I'm, I'm not this isn't a direct quote, but this is paraphrased more or less standing up against Marxism, communism and atheism. Well, you know, he says that, uh, you know, he feels he's ordained by God. And, and, and I like that because yeah. the scripture we just read. But he went on to say, I believe that scripture from the Bible is very clear that God is the one who raises up those in authority. Johnson said, We've said that many times in his first speech, being elected speaker in a 20, uh, 220 to 209 vote. Those 209 votes are all the Democrats right. in the house. It says he raised up each of you, all of us. He's referring to the other people too. Yeah. You know, the Bible says that no one comes to authority without God's, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, allowing it. So the even, which, which even includes uh, such such people as Biden yes. and uh, Comrade Newsom, and yes, so yeah. so God's he, God God's on the throne. He knows what's going on. It's yeah. not it's not a mystery to him. Well, the Bible says that the king's heart's like water around a rock in God's hands. Yeah, you know, so he guides it. Mm. <laughs> it's crazy when a human being that's a very um, finite being looks at somebody infinite and says. We don't need you. But, but you know, I, I, I think that um, Kevin was doing a great job. I don't I think a think lot Kevin is going is. to change uh, with, with, this, with this new guy, Johnson. The only thing I do think is going to change is, uh, so we talked this morning about, uh, you know, the, the, the recall or whatever vote that got Kevin out. That hasn't changed. No, uh, so that's still in effect. But uh, Gates and company, Gates and the Democrats, basically. I think, what is there, like 12 of them? Yeah, or eight it's, of them? It's something like this, some small number. They've they've um, held the country hostage, or at least the at least the conservative GOP. Well, they've made the they've made the Republicans and conservatives looks, look like a clown show. Look stupid! Come yeah. on, you guys. Hey, I think your constituents are going to show you your next reelection. That Bob, hope you have another career path. We'll right. Yeah. Way. So so hey, um, you know, we we have shows on changing your careers. 
if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to watch that. We can help you. <laughs> but, but I love it that he's also a constitutional lawyer. Yeah, I, I know you really were, were I, intrigued I mean, by that. I mean, no one's going to pull something over on this guy. You know, and, and, and I love the fact that he is staying on course with some of the directions they were already taking, Mike. I mean, yeah. I, it, well, and, and naturally he's going to, right? Because Kevin wasn't way off. I mean, they're going to have to figure out some way to work with the Democrats because they only have a slim majority anyway. And the, the Democrats have the, uh, the, the White House. And we already know that 12 to 8 of them are fickled. Right. <laughs> I, I, they, they don't know. <laughs> Whatever that number is, they said with the Democrats, apparently. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I like it that because he did pull us together. And I think the whole house voted on supporting Israel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, there, it, there was two big things that I saw that he yeah. did. And that was, that was number one. Well, when the very first thing he did was get, and it was unanimous other than the squad and really people that uh, shouldn't even be in Congress, oh, right. in my opinion, and many other people's opinions, uh, because they're, they're anti-American. Uh, but, uh, the vast majority including both sides of the both sides of the house were in support of supporting Israel. Well, you know, it's it's so crazy because the Washington Post got caught um, uh, you know, they they had a caption that said Israelis women children being held, detained by Hamas. I I don't know. I think when you look up in the dictionary in any brand of dictionary you want to, that word detained versus hostages. They were held up, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah basically these ho if you're a hostage it's against your will. And I do believe these people were kidnapped or being held against their will. Well, what 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 do you expect from the Washington compost? Yes, and <laughs> and, and, and and then you get you, you know I hope my children are espousing values that I gave them as they were in my home. They they are right now. My son-in-law, my daughters are. But you have the son of Hamas leader. He breaks his silence on the discussion on to denounce the terror group. They don't care about Palestinians. Here's the son. Of a Hamas leader. Well, not only a leader, one of the founders of yes, Hamas. Yeah, and and I do believe if it goes on, he talks about his found faith in Christianity, yeah. in Christ. Yeah, it was, it breaks, was a good interview. Breaks a whole different thing, which would be a religious ideology. Yeah, well, a terrorist ideology. For, for, well, well, I mean, you know, there again, Muslims believe in Muhammad, Christians believe in Jesus, and you know, but we all believe in the first five books of the Bible. So, I mean, Orthodox, I mean, Jews, Muslims, and Christians. So, um, but good on this guy for for deviating yeah, from yeah. what he thought was wrong, which is clearly wrong. Well, Mike is clearly wrong because we had an article this week that came out, and it talks about, and it's from the Daily Wire, and I know uh, you know the Daily Wire is probably one of the only sources that is bringing you some truth because they're willing to talk about the truth. But they said that there was a um, Israeli official that was overseeing the autopsies and the brutality that these Hamas terrorist murderers, convicts, should be wiped off the face of the earth, Hamas. Yeah, you know, absolutely. That, that, that these women were raped so bad that they broke their pelvis. Well, I, I, think, that, I think there's two things here. So first of all, I want to say, why do we talk about this? Yes. Because I think people need to, one, be in the know and be aware of it, but two, not forget Right. Just like we talked about 9-11. Don't forget what these people have done. But I think something that I, I keep saying and I've been saying for a while and, and this article goes on to talk about it as well, is these people are on drugs because even these Hamas terrorists have some shred of morality and human decency that they have to be on drugs to do the kind of things that they did. Well, you know, you know, Mike, and there again, we're not coming out after the Palestinian people. Absolutely not, no. Because 20%, I think, and I think that is a, the percentage of, Pal of, of Israel is made up of Palestinians. So it's not Palestinians that are a problem. That's not the problem. It's this Hamas. It's the Hezbollah. It's the ISIS, which still is around. Yeah. They just took off two of their acronym letters yeah apparently and, and al-qaeda which we're gonna hopefully we, we're gonna probably talk about because these guys are all you know they they all have this ideology they're they're oppressing their own people well, tom we're not against any one people group frankly no. we're against ideologies and we're stand against evil well right you know, and it, and that's what hamas is that's what hamas stands for is evil isis stands for evil al-qaeda stands for evil we're against that 100 yes. percent wholesale and if that means that we get taken off uh youtube or whatever i really don't give a rip you know mike it it puts them in the class of the nazis 
Oh, they're worse. It's 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 hard to think about how that happened, but this is modern day. This it's happening right in front of us, and there are people that seem to be okay with it in our government. I, I like the Israeli police boss. He threatened to send the anti-war protesters to Gaza. <laughs> well, it, it's like, hey, if you don't like us, we'll send you. Yeah, you 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 want some of that instead? You want to go yeah, back over you're on there? The wrong side. You know, but but then when you see the other side, you know, and, and right now you and I talked about today, Mike, how Ron DeSantis seems to be out of the news cycle. Yep. But he's really doing something pretty cool because he's f having flights. He's sponsoring flights, and he's bringing over two hundred Americans home from Israel because they're landing in Florida. Yeah. Well, I, 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 he's he's out of the news cycle, but that yeah. doesn't mean he's not still doing good things. But but while the government's dragging their feet, right? He's delivering on results. He, hey, let me do what I can, right? Yes. And of course, the mainstream doesn't um, uh, pick him up or anything like that. And it's just it, it is. So so we have Al Qaeda and ISIS, which I S drop the else um, calls on their followers to strike Israeli, U S and Jewish. Well, is that a surprise, Tom? <laughs> hey, thank you to our president, Biden, who left all of our equipment over there, which they did use in the oh, yeah, attacks. And now they're, they're going to use them to fight us. against us. Yeah. Yeah. But now you have ISIS, you have the Al Qaeda, Taliban, all the, all the ones that are still over there are now running Afghanistan. Well, because well, we pulled out in a rush, left our stuff, left Americans left people who were friendly to America in a country that's now taken 20 years back. Well, you, you say what you want, and I, I don't know, uh, we haven't necessarily talked about this, Tom, but, um, you know, my, my, my suspicion, theory, whatever you want to call it, uh, not based necessarily on any information, but uh, my curiosity is, how much did Biden get financially for making that move? Well, you know, Joe is not leaving money on the table. No. <laughs> Hey, well, I think even um, his son Hunter one time says, "I got to pay the big guy." You yeah, know? it's like it's like my dad's like, "I want my cut." Yeah, <laughs> when I do something for my kids, I do it gratis. So, 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 how how much did Obama get from that? Well, I don't know, but Obama Obama taught Biden the tricks. Well, a lot of people theorize that this is Obama's third term. It right? is. It is. So it's, it's so Mike, you 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 have all, all the things going on there. Then we have Netanyahu, who is the leader right now of Israel. Israel, and so he says that um, Talib and Omar, you may be um, uh, in politics in America, but you are not allowed in Israel. And so now, good for him. We, we got a bartender. Um, uh, you'll see. Right. I hope she has. She could watch our show too, Mike, because she's gonna. Be, <laughs> I think. I hope she needs to change careers soon. I wonder if she was any good at bartending. Maybe she should go back to that. Uh, I don't know. There's one where there's one thing where she does a dance, and <laughs> uh, I, I think she took heat on that. But but Netanyahu says we don't want Talib or Omar in our country. I mean, you, you even have this Congress uh, person. I, I, I don't know. If we, do we want him here? <laughs> well, Rashid, Rashid Talib, she's tripling down now. Not once. When I I don't play a lot of cards in bet, but <laughs> yeah, no. I know when to hold them and when to fold them. But this woman has tripled down on Gaza's hospital bombing comments. She hasn't taken it off the board like everybody else has. They've said, yeah, we've got some pretty good intelligence reports that it was a backfiring. Rocket, the entire fired rest of the by world, Hamas, right? And she's triple downing on it, still saying it. That's misinformation, YouTube. Well, so, so my right, yeah, YouTube. Yes, thank you. That's uh, misinformation. What, what, so my question is: Is is Hamas writing her speeches, or what? Well, well so <laughs> somebody accused them of that. You know, like, hey, these speeches are coming from Hamas, right? I mean, <laughs> where else could they possibly be coming from? Because Why not anybody with a brain. No, Mike, and this is where they, this is where th this group gets their, their, in my opinion, gets their rhetoric off topic. Is when they come out and they talk about being pro-Palestinian. I like Palestinians. Yeah, but it's the anti-Hamas which they will not say. 
You should be anti Hamas, well, AOC, and, Tlaib, and um, Omar. You should be that. You can be pro Palestinian, but you need to be against Hamas, Al Qaeda, ISIS. Well, Hamas uh, doesn't even have doesn't even care about their own people. They don't you know? They're they're how many of their own people are they using so, as human shields? So, 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 Mike, they have four hundred miles of tunnels underground. Mm -hmm. Not one of them is for a hospital. No. It's well, all for military. They, 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 they put the hospitals up above it to, as a shield. Yeah. Yes. Well, they took all the all the foreign aid money and used it for for uh, terrorism, basically. Yeah. It, you know, it's so crazy. Is that if it, 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 let's go back to the very beginning? What Israel wanted was their hostages back. Give us the people you've captured back. No, we won't. Of course, they want Biden to um, ransom them. You know. Well, that wasn't the only thing that they wanted. Well, right? I know, but, but in the beginning. Israel wanted those people back. Well, they still want them back. Yeah, they do. And they're getting them back, too. I, you know, they're, they're coughing them up. I think they're trying to appease the world, <laughs> is what I'm doing. But Israel's not falling for it. They've made some strikes inside uh, the Gaza. And so they are going to. And if you're out there and you're running around, they're even talking about hunting down. You know, they did the Nazis. You know, the Weizenthal Institute hunted down Nazis. As they should have. Years, yeah. decades afterwards. So yeah, and somehow they popped up back up in the U.S. government. <laughs> and other governments. Yeah. But if you're out there and you back this uh, um, um, terrorist raid in Israel, I think they're coming after you. You know, yeah. I don't know if I would sleep well at night. Well, you, you know what? Um, um, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> well, 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 so we, we've already had a, our, our authorities, federal authorities are warning us in America that Iranian back terrorists are trying to enter U.S. southern border. Hello, like that's news. It, wait, there's a border? Where's it at? <laughs> there's no border. You know, <laughs> there's certainly not one in California. Uh, the Biden administration went out and cut the uh, bob wire that the Texas border, uh, 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 the Texas uh, governor wanted to protect Texans with to put it up. The Biden administration cut it down because they, they said it was, you know, hindering <laughs> the people coming well, to the well, border. So, so it's supposed to. The, here's, here's the thing. The, the, this is the only way they can get more voters, right? Because all the, how, many, how many liberal voters are waking up and switching sides? Well, so they may, get, they may not get the voters they think they're getting. So this comes from the San Diego field office. So, so they're, they're, the, the, the authorities are telling us, hey, watch out. So when they start saying, hey, watch out, it's happening. You know what? You know, that's kind of the code word for saying, yeah, we screwed up. Well, I, the, but we've been talking about this for how long? Oh, not, I uh, mean, not you, months, years. You and I for two years. Yeah. Hey, get, hey, get this. A new poll has found most <laughs> Americans view the business dealings of Joe and Hunter Biden as unethical or illegal. He's a crook. Well, Both of them are but, crooks. But this is not news necessarily, but why is it relevant? So the reason it's relevant is because what what is uh, Mike Johnson doing? He is continuing the impeachment inquiry on Joe Biden, and he should. And he's looking into treason. Yes, he is. And, and why he, is he looking into treason? Because you can't get money from a foreign government that's hostile from, to America. And it, yeah, enemies of the U.S. Yeah, it's treason. But hey, guess where Newsom is? I wonder if you can. Guess where Newsom is right now? <laughs> in China? In China. <laughs> yeah. He's driving around in a Chinese EV car where California's going EV, but I don't think those Chinese cars here, unless, well, we're going to be China for in a few years. Right. Well, and we're not already. Newsom <laughs> will be at the top. And uh, so, so, so you say we, that you can't get money financial from a foreign enemy of the u.s but can you give them resources like uh military equipment and <laughs> tanks and and aircraft as long as you pay big joe <laughs> hey big, you as gotta long pay as you the pay, big guy right as long as you play the big guy i think he's okay with it so it um so, so so we got this interesting thing so if you're out there and you're considering voting for um comrade comrade newsom <laughs> for president because he's probably running you got to think about the state of California. Well, I, I, so I got to say, if they're say thinking state about California. voting for Comrade Newsom, just stay home. Don't vote. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the state of California, we live in one of the most beautiful states. In used the to Union. be. Yeah, used to be. Yeah. Well, I think it still is, but it's what Comrade Newsom or Newsolini was our new word, right? <laughs> yeah. Newsolini has um, done to our state. So there, there, there's a tent city in front of a school, elementary school. And they've got a sign out front that says free fentanyl for new users. That's a marketing scheme that they've 
figure it out on their own. I'm surprised they don't have referrals, you know. But meth for stolen items. I mean, they're not turning it into cash until they get them, you know, the, the, the meth. And then they take the stolen items and well, sell I'm them on I'm surprised that there's still even any schools in San Francisco at this point. I oh mean, there's no gosh. stores there anymore. Oh, my gosh. That's a whole other show, But, Mike, but Tom, it? you know, the, like, obviously, like, I'll, I'll just say the part that people are like, yeah, okay, I'm thinking that. Um, this being in front of a school, like, I'm thinking, okay, my kids don't go to public school for a very good reason. Yeah. But um, um, this being in front of a school, like, what if my kid was going to public school? And they're like, oh, I'm interested. Oh, it's free? Okay, yeah, let me have some. And they don't know any better. And then the next thing you know, they're, they're dead or they're hooked on fentanyl or meth. Well, it, it, you know, I would hope my wife, who's superintendent of a school district, she had a dog coming around and they were biting some um, neighbors. Oh, she'd run the these people off so fast. And huh? so <laughs> she was calling animal control to get the dog out because yeah. it, she thought, hey, they're biting people. It's going to be biting her, my kids pretty soon. Uh -huh. And so it just caused her extra precaution, making sure those dogs, because the kids walk home. So my wife had took that over. So can you imagine walking by this and no one's saying, hey, you guys need to get out of here? Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the dads? So Bill Meyer and a lot of comedians are getting some heat. Yeah. I, I think there's an interesting vi uh, uh, show with Candace and Bill. And Ken I, they're talking about how comedians used to. Um, it used to make bad comments about everybody. Every, every everyone out there was funny. Right. It was funny, but now, now Bill Maher is getting blasted and called a coward for focusing on Republicans. Well, he's not carrying the water for the Dems. So yeah. anybody who yeah. disagrees with with the uh, party line, with the agenda and what you're supposed to say, we're going to give you your, the talking points. And if you if you deviate from that in any way, then you're a coward. Well, look, right? what, look what happened to Russell Brand. And I'm not saying Russell Brand was a good guy, but mm -hmm. everybody knew how bad of a guy he was in, Before? The, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in the 80s and 90s. But it became apparent, and they came after him when he started criticizing the actions of the left well well the, the thing is you know and, and that is sadly the one thing that the liberals have going for them right is they're in alignment they, they, they follow they, we each look other. at the 209 votes with the uh, house right the, the democrats were voting together hoping they would gain some um uh, of the um I don't know if we'll call them a GOP that were that that, that made us look like idiots out there. But I, I so if I say the left, I'm talking because I used to be on the left, and I tell everybody my party didn't my I didn't leave the party. The party left me, and so so I'm on that side of Bill Maher and um, uh, Russell Brand. Well, how and, many of them? And, have... and what, what's the other guy's name we were talking about this morning? Um, um, Dave Chappelle. Yeah, Dave Chappelle. But no, the other guy um, that does a lot of funny ones. Uh, He's got oh, the, J.P. Sears. Yes. I mean, you can't have this many people. Well, and Joe Rogan was one of them, Yes. Too. I mean, you can't have these many people that are very opinionated that are saying, oh, come on. Biden administration's corrupt. The politics that we have isn't looking out for Americans' best interest. Right. It's it, it just, it just obvious to people. So if you're out there well, and you're and, on the left, what, I'm not even saying I'm 100%, and correct me, I'm 100% a Trumper. Right. I think I, I think he needs to like you know slow his roll when it comes to um, his personality, but his politics, his policies are solid, rock on. Well, what, what's what's interesting is you he's see, a bully. You see, every single one of these people, um, first of all, they're all intelligent people, right? For uh, if you're going to be a comedian, you have to have some level of intelligence. But then you look at um, um, who who is the Elon Musk. Yeah. He was a lefty too, right? Um, but you you look at all these people, and the second they disagree or have their own opinion, they're they're shoved aside. They're they're out. You're hey, out. Hey, now. when when uh, Elon bought Twitter, they're like. Oh, there goes free speech. Well, no, there was never free speech right. on Twitter. There is now. Yeah, there goes free speech. Uh, they were saying it, you're not allowed to have free speech. In fact, it was quite the opposite. No, actually, now we're going to allow free speech. Yeah, <laughs> and they're complaining about that. I, hey, there again, if you're on the, if you have been on the left, and you want to use your brain, you can come over to our side if you would like. <laughs> Yep. Is that too hard? No, I, I like it, Tom. <laughs> I, I was like, yeah, Tom's finally bringing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I enjoy this with you guys. If you don't agree with us, you've already turned us off. But if you do, hey. Yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Yep. God bless.